We're at MacFab, who've gone all CNC, so they are known for their manual milling, turning, smaller production runs, bespoke one-off parts, essentially. And we've been here before to review these machines, but we thought we'd return and ask more about it. So, Jay, you are the miller at MacFab. That's right. That's a good, good start straight away. But you've got these Dugard machines, why? Uh, well, we were looking for uh, machines with uh, fourth axis capabilities, uh, we wanted to be able to probe jobs uh, and set tools sort of um, qu quickly. Okay. Um, and we wanted uh, like a, an all round package. Right, so you went to a number of suppliers for a whole package, chose Dugard. Yeah, Dugard the most cost effective. You went for the 1100, but I see you've got 1000 sitting here, why is that? Yeah, so we, we wanted the 1100. Uh, at the time, there was none available in the country. Uh, I think we were the first in the country to order this particular machine. Uh, so they sent us 1000 uh, as basically a loan thing, just to get used to the machine, see how we like it. Um, and eventually, once the 1100 arrived, uh, we liked it so much, we, we, we kept that one as well. Right, so that's a great endorsement, the machine yeah. straight away. I won't go through all the specification, very briefly, what's inside the 1100 in terms of envelope, tools, etc.? 1100 is the... Um, machine in pocket. Um, the table is 1250 by 600. Um, both machines hold 24 tools uh, and a 10,000 uh, RPM spindle speed. Okay, so in a nutshell, big parts made super quick and super efficiently. Yeah, basically. Okay, but it's not just about the capability of the machine. How's the sales and service been from the guys at Dugard? Yeah, service has been great. We haven't needed a, a lot of service from them, but uh, when something has gone wrong, uh, I have the engineer's phone number in my mobile phone, and it's, it's a simple phone call away. Um, they generally get back to us within the hour if they're not ready straight away. Okay, and we need to be realistic, it's, things do go wrong occasionally, so they're available. If they're not available at the time, they do call back? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, so you're getting that solution. Now, another thing is, you're an experienced engineer, but CNC programming is not, you haven't got loads of experience with that, so how has it been taking on the Siemens controls? Um, I was a bit dubious at first, but, um, once we came in, we had uh, three days training, and I mean, three days is all you need. It's it's really really simple to program. Um, programs that would have taken me hours and hours to, to write in the past using G codes, uh, I can now write in you know a matter of minutes on, on so the machine. So you enjoy program programming these machines? Yeah, definitely. How is it made simple, and how does it help you? Uh, well, it's a conversational um, style of programming. So um, if you want to machine a, a pocket then you go through the uh, options of machine pocket, uh, circular pocket, and then it'll ask you um, the dimensions of the pocket, either um, diameter or depth or stuff like that, uh, what tools you want to use. And then it pretty much writes the rest of the program for you. So essentially make it really easy for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So you've had these machines how long? Um, almost a year. Okay. And how many programs do you reckon you've written? Um, probably close to a thousand. Wow, so a lot of, I mean, some of them, more. Some of them are very, very simple, um, but yeah, like de definitely, um, definitely over 500. Do you know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's, it's a lot, a lot of programs. Okay, and done all really, really simply. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. A little endorsement of Dugard machines, the milling machines used by Jay. So cost-effective, easy to use, and great sales and support. Mm -hmm.